Scott Ogney says he's running for Jackson County Sheriff for two reasons. Because he believes important laws are not being enforced, specifically election laws, and because he's against the jail millage. I'm your Fox 47 neighborhood reporter, Daria Sudris, and I sat down with Ogney to discuss his views. Scott Ogney says he's been investigating election violations. He believes he's found evidence of fraud. This despite the Michigan Bureau of Elections having reported on 250 post-election audits across the state that the Secretary of State's office says affirm the accuracy and integrity of Michigan's November 2020 election. For the past three and a half years of my life, I've been investigating election crimes and uh, elections, specifically election records. And I have uh, reported uh, things to law enforcement in this county and the sheriff's department does not want to touch these cases. Unhappy with what he believes is a lack of action on his reporting, Ogney decided to throw his own hat into the ring. As for the jail millage, Ogney says he's been opposed to it since it was first proposed in 2022. I just think there's too many holes in the story that Sheriff Schutte is, uh, is revealing to the public. Ogney says he has not been able to see the jail but would like a better assessment of what can and cannot be repaired before imposing a tax increase. As for what would make him a better sheriff... Number one, I'm an outsider. I'm not connected to the people in the county. Ogney tells me he feels the current sheriff defers too much to other authorities. I believe that the sheriff's department needs to operate autonomously, uh, both with regards to other law enforcement agencies and with other departments in the county. This, says Ogney, means investigating things others might not be taking up and perhaps thinking outside the state and federal box. We still have the gang problems here in Jackson, so apparently the programs that Washington and Lansing are offering up to Gary Schutte are not working. And I think we may have better solutions from the public within this county versus bureaucrats in Washington and Lansing. In addition to public engagement to make Jackson County more self-reliant, Ogney proposes a regional safety crime lab and training officers how to respond to an active shooter situation. Despite never having worked in law enforcement, Ogney thinks the right principles and a strong backbone are more important than that. And I think I would be a very good leader. I'm not afraid to walk alone and stand alone. Scott Ogney faces off against incumbent Gary Schutte Tuesday, August 6th. I'm your Fox 47 neighborhood reporter, Daria Sudris, in Jackson.